Hi friends, in this video we will learn how ng-serve, ng-build run behind the scene in Angular. Before understanding this video, I recommend you to check my previous videos for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created my project called as Demo1 and here is my terminal where I can run our commands. So to serve our Angular project, we can use three commands. One is ng-serve, this is one command and ngs this is one command and npm run start this is one command so let's understand when we run npm run start how it behaves it will go into our project structure and it will search for the packages and scripts once it went to scripts it will find the start command inside the start command we have used ng serve so whenever it sees ng serve that means ng then it will search for the angular json file in this project it goes to your angular json project and where it will find the serve object in this serve object it has a builder and it is pointing to build angular which is present in angular dev kit so this is a node modules which was given by angular and what it does whenever it sees build angular build angular is having a webpack structure where it is the responsible one to build our program so this is pointing to development environment if it points to development environment the browser target is demo1 my project name and build then it will go to the build object with development environment face so now it will go to demo1 where is my demo1 if you search here we have an object called as demo1 and inside this demo1 we have build and inside this build it will go for the target of builder with browser like build angular that means by this we can understand whenever you are using an ng serve or npm run start our application will not run directly instead it will even build before serving so let me show you that hit enter if you see here it's going into demo one and ng serve it is starting the ng serve that means you can use any of this command like ng serve if you give ng serve directly it will not go into your package json instead it will go directly into your angular json and it will execute if you don't have global setup of angular npm run start that will go into package json and from package json it will jump into your angular json it will find your serve object and as per the configuration in the serve object it will compile your code and transpile your code into javascript so now the compiler has been successfully my angular project has been successfully compiled and it is pointing to localhost 4200 localhost 4200 is the default port number used by angular so let me jump into browser and let me reload this if you see here this is the default angular project which i have created so it is rendering now let's understand by using ng serve if you hit ng serve like ngs or ng serve enter so it will now directly point to your angular json instead of going to package json and it will search for this serve command or serve object and here it will undergo three phases one is setup phase one more is this is the second phase called as building phase and third one is ceiling phase and once it completes the compilation it will generate vendor js polyfill js main js so these are the jss which is created by angular and that jss will be rendered in your browser let me reload even it worked as expected so now few people may require or may want to change angular port number how to change that angular port number we can change that angular port number with an option called as port ng serve minus minus port or hyphen hyphen port equal to 4300 instead of running my application in 4200 i'm trying to run the application in 4300 you can see here it went to setup phase now it will go to your building phase it went to building phase building in a sense every time whenever you are running ng serve it not only compiles it even moves into your build folder and based on the development configuration it will build your js files so by that we can understand not only ng build even ng serve also triggers ng build internally so let me go to browser open the new tab localhost 4300 enter see now it is triggering in our 4300 port this is one option which was given by angular to change the port number and 
point to remember is angular build or build angular package will internally uses your webpack because any of our application should have a webpack or javascript files we need webpack so in other applications like react we will be writing our own webpack configurations whereas in angular it will be considering from our angular json into webpack so now we have learned about ng so let's go into ng build by default whenever we are using ng build it will go into your angular json file and if you see here we have an options called as output path index main polyfills ts config inline style languages assets whatever we want styles so what does it means output path so whenever you are hitting ng build we it will create one folder called as dist along with the project name so all our js files will be moved into that dist folder and that dist folder can be used for our deployment on the server index what it is pointing it is pointing to our index.html whenever we use ng build index will be pointing to index.html and main will be pointing to main.ts what will happen is whenever we hit ng build it will load this index file and main js that is they are present in the src folder and if you see here we have main.ts so what angular will do is whenever we use ng serve or ng build it will go into our main.ts and in the main.ts it will try to find app module in the app module it has a component called as app component once the app component is loaded my selector app hyphen root is ready with me that means our serve or our build will have app root selector and once this is loaded immediately our angular json will load the index.html file from src slash index.html so now it will go into src and it will try to load index.html by the time it loads index.html our selector is ready so it is able to find our component and it is able to find our html content it will replace this app root selector with our html content which is inside the app.component.html so whenever we are hitting an ng serve or ng build the flow will go from angular json and it will load main.ts as well as index.html parallelly but index.html will be in the wait state until my main.ts as well as app module and app component has been loaded so now my app component is loaded and my selector is ready now the wait state of index.html will come out and it will try to load index.html because main.ts has been loaded successfully and now it will be loading index.html whenever it loads the index.html it will try to find this selector yes my selector is already loaded from the app component so now i am ready to render my html content it will replace app root with our app.component.html so when we go here app.component.html it will fetch all this html content and it will render in your browser that is how the ng serve or ng build will behave so whenever we are using an ng serve this is the flow how angular will treat and let's understand more on to ng build let me hit ng build as we have discussed in the previous video ng build will point default to the production mode as per our previous video we know that angular ng build will point to the production mode by default if you see angular json file if you see here the default configuration is to production mode so whenever i hit ng build setup phase building phase as well as ceiling phase and now it will try to generate our dist folder so where it will be generating our dist folder it will be generating our dist folder which has been configured in output path if you see here output path it is pointing to dist slash demo1 so here a folder is created newly called as dist inside this dist we have demo1 inside the demo1 we have all the js files and if you open this js files these all the js files are in minified state why because whenever we are pointing to production mode our minification algorithm will work and our files will be generated in a minified manner to change our production mode to a development mode we can change here like development i can copy this paste here development mode so now let me clear this let me delete the dist folder 
now ng build if i hit ng build now it will be pointing default to your development phase here in the development phase also it is going into setup mode as well as it will go to the building mode but whenever our web pack or the build angular will see the development environment it will not minify our javascript files after transpilation so if you see here we have window.js polyfill.js main.js runtime.js styles.js and build is completed if you go here you can see this with this many files because the compression mechanism or the minification mechanism was not triggered whenever we are using a development phase and if you see here we have 2.19 mb when we gave ng build with the development phase so now if you want to trigger our ng build to the production mode on the fly we can use configurations like ng build hyphen hyphen configuration and pointing to production mode let me hit enter it went to setup phase once the ceiling phase is done it will generate our chunks or js files now we are pointing to production mode so it has to generate ls mb files as well as the js files will be in minified manner so if you see here it went to 249 kb when we hit ng build in development phase it has been generated in mbs whereas whenever we are using ng build with production mode it has been created 249.24 kb that means it is very very less sized files and if you go here you have created dist inside the dist demo one and here now we are seeing only two to three files minified files if you see here these all are the minified files now there may be a question like it is pointing to dist slash demo one can i change this yes you are very free to change and angular gives that option for us or feasibility for us to change our dist folder name for example if you want to use inside the dist i want to use sai as my folder save this let me delete this dist folder let me run production mode again it went to setup phase building phase now the third step is ceiling phase once ceiling is successful it will generate our chunks but this time it will generate instead of dist slash demo one it will generate inside the dist slash sai folder so ceiling is in progress now it has generated its folder as dist slash i and minified versions so this is how our build ng build ng serve will behave and if you see here we have polyfills it is pointing to src slash polyfills to know about polyfills ts config styles assets styles dot scss if you want to know all of these properties or file structure along with the file structure what is the importance of that file please go and check the previous video you will find all the required information about each and every file hope you guys like my video if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you